this is in response to Kajay's question relating to tighter rules relating to foreigners marrying Filipinas. Um, basically, they want to see that the guy is of high moral uh, character, uh, ethical, financially able, not an ex-con, etc., etc. First thing I want to say on this is the Magna Carta says that men and women should be able to marry equally uh, from a ethical point of view. If you've spent your prison sentence or whatever, uh, you've, it is spent. It shouldn't be held against you in future. Um, as such, from that point of view, that shouldn't be held against you. Um, from a human rights point of view, that would also stand. But also, what gives the right of a foreign power to investigate you? Um, there could be some major disputes between foreigners, um, foreign countries, uh, relating to access to some of this information that would actually require to prove that you weren't actually a bad person. Because um, currently, all you have to do is prove that you're not able to get married elsewhere. Uh, sorry, you're not already married, and that's it. So, from those points of view, it won't go through the Senate. Next thing is, where's the advantage? Because at the end of the day, if the Philippines wanted to be more fussy, because they're, they're going all anti-trafficking, anti-this, and the anti-trafficking is nothing to do with this whatsoever. The anti-trafficking is when they're flying people out illegally and on false papers into jobs which are predominantly nothing to do with foreigners whatsoever, it's an internal issue, um, then I would say concentrate on that instead of trying to blow smoke. Um, because this is nothing to do with human trafficking. Um, I could go into human trafficking, but there's a lot of stuff that the police won't pick up. Um, but uh, I'm getting a bit frustrated on this one now. Uh, but the... The reality is that bad marriages happen anyway. You know, good, bad, in between. That's just the the rule of the world. Now, if somebody was a, say, a violent wife beater or something, I would request not um, put the emphasis on the Philippines, but put the emphasis on the diplomats from those countries. For example, if somebody's got a history of violence, maybe they shouldn't be allowed to marry a Filipina, but it should be from their government, not the Philippines government. Um, so I'd request that, say, people are clarified by the British Embassy as having non-violence towards women, etc. Um, but none of this will go through anyway. There's no... Everything in the Philippines, well, any government is driven by money, nothing else. If, if there was cash in it, they would do it. Um, it's the same with the UK. If there's money in it, they'll do it. If there's no money in it, it'll just sit there for the next 11 years. And they'll just go, rah, 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 push it to the bottom of the pile. And that's all that happened with this. There's no benefit to the Philippines government um, in people's pockets um, so they're not really going to take too much of an interest in it. There's no benefit. If, for example, they started going, okay, well, we'll do this, and then um, marriages dropped by 80%, you've got a few other problems that will actually occur. The first problem is guys will still come to the Philippines, they'll still end up having kids, etc., but now they've got the opportunity to just walk away. Um, so you've got removed responsibilities by actually enforcing them not to get married um, this is where the West has gone crazily wrong by starting to dictate what people should do in their lives and it's resulted in guys heading to the East guys not wanting to get married etc etc because when you start dictating things to remove common sense by actually um, trying to dictate what people need to do this is moral this is ethical we will tell you what you need to do people start going you know what get stuffed and whether it was moral or ethical before 
the the arguments going where they you got one person going well it's my right it's my right and then the other guy's going oh, I'm leaving goodbye and that, that that's what happens um so there is no advantage of this going through and also bear in mind this is not when they say foreigners it's not just about westerners a lot of guys marry from asia um there's there's reports of you know it's what was I mean? it's either taiwan or south korea because the women don't want the guys because they find the guys rather mummied um they've been mothered too much and it's a big put off for a lot of the women so that's why a lot of them go for filipino women because they're more traditional where the women in South Korea is is getting more westernized as such. They don't want weak men. So I don't think it's going to go through Senate. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.